cardiodynamics, what would you have to say about it? The heart, very sensitive to nanobacteria. Nanobacteria, very easy to get access to the body if hydrochloric acid is low, even in children. So the cardiodynamics, number one, got to be able to digest and absorb our food. Number two, got to have minerals, because without magnesium, we're going to get in trouble with the heart's rhythm. Magnesium is a tricky little bugger because it's not just dependent on consuming it, but it's held in your blood by adrenaline. So if we have an adrenal problem, we can lose magnesium. So many people who are concerned about a regular heartbeat actually have an adrenal problem. You can't hold magnesium. So cardiodynamics is very tricky. Now, we also need to support the musculature. The heart is the biggest hog of coenzyme Q10 above all the other, the brain and then musculature to a much less extent. So uh, someone who is concerned about the health of the heart should always be taking three or 400 milligrams of CoQ10. What else does the heart need? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> in addition to all that, we need to make sure that the muscle itself is strong. So. For vegetarians and people that consume no muscular, no muscle meat or any, any, any animal product, we've got to be sure that B12 and the B vitamins are in good supply. That's the key. And, and what are some of the symptoms people would uh, notice with uh, this cardiodynamics not being in? Well, anything from um, irregular heartbeat to um, uh, in more worse cases, um, uh, racing heartbeat, um, actual muscular weakness, so that you can see that uh, uh, you you the muscle is so weak that it's it's insufficiently pumping the blood. These are conditions where uh, digitalis or something may be given. Um, for many people who. Uh, the muscle of the heart is that weak, uh, it's a really good idea if not only CoQ10 but Delta tocotrienol is one of the uh, premier players to support heart health in that regard. Um, perhaps beyond the province of today is the fact that there could be a scar or trauma that's reflexing to the heart or a bad tooth that has been shown to reflex to the heart and create a problem at the heart. Uh, there are a number of deaths of people who've had infected tooth that's gone to the heart. So um, there are even other more complex aspects that you would really need to explore with someone who knew other technology like quantum reflex analysis, QRA. And if you visit the QNL website, qnlabs.com website, um, you could learn more about that.